Hey, how are you? It is Monday. Oh, let me turn that off. And uh, I have a doctor's appointment. Boo! It's not really an appointment. It's more of um, a test, I guess. Um, a couple weeks ago, when I fell flat on my face, I heard a crack. And we know now that I cracked my eggs. I, I had brought for lunch. And um, I'd not my, you know, a bone. So that was good, but they scanned my face looking for a break in my bones and uh, they found something else in my neck apparently um, it, they scanned all the way down to here and they found a mass so they're going to go scan me again and uh, you know I don't know what that is and neither do they. That's why we're getting the scanned again. So, yay. Hold on. Before I go to the doctors, I always not eat anything. I uh, just take my medicine and I'll drink water. Um, just in case they say, hey, we want to run some tests. Oh my gosh, I don't have my seatbelt on. <sighs> but, on my I left like an hour early. So, I can, when I get there, I can, um, all the paperwork and stuff and I have to go to the post office and I'm doing that now because I tried to go Friday and they were really busy so I didn't wake up Saturday <laughs> sorry and um, now I you know it'll kill time and, um, maybe take my mind off stuff. I also have to get a customs form because I'm going to ship something international. You know who you are. And, uh, what else? Oh, uh, I, I, I think I have a giveaway one in my, in my, um, my and my uh, post office box. So, yay! How did you like that U-turn I did earlier? <laughs> so. I'll probably, if they tell me what it is, I'm going to wait. See, I can't even find it. Both doctors, the doctor that told me about it. Oh, wait, here it is. I found it. That's pretty damn big. That, oh, wow. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. Yeah. I got something there. Um, maybe it's just the cyst. <laughs> but, uh, the doctor, it wasn't a doctor, it was a nurse practitioner in the uh, ER said, yeah, you got a cyst, and, and she felt it, and I couldn't. And then I went to my cardiologist, and I said, you know, help me out here. And he's like, you need to get that checked out. He found it right away. 
um, so, yeah, you know, I really hate it when people who just pull out right in front of you when they're supposed to stop, look, and, uh, bingo. Okay, I'm at the post office. Uh, I will be back in a little bit. I need to get this done so I can carry on. Okay. Bye. Okay. Yeah. So, I mailed Andrea's package and I picked up a package from Linda Skidmore. Thank you, Linda. I, I actually won two of her giveaways. I won the Berlin Underground Palette. I'm so excited about that one. And um, she had a lot of sneaky peek giveaways going on. I forget which one I got. But, uh, she put stuff together and she categorizes them, you know, with colors and numbers. And she said, pick a color and pick a number. So I did. And she goes, pick a different one. Somebody else got that. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I really don't know. It's a surprise! And those are the best things in life. Okay, so I have a lot of time <laughs> before I have to be there. So I'm going to run my, one more errand. My sister said she wanted uh, oatmeal, so I'm going to go pick that up. And then I will go to the hospital. Well, it's not the hospital. It's right next to the hospital. Still, no seatbelt. Um, it's right, it's a building next to the hospital. This is the one I went to when, uh, I had my kidney problems. I haven't had any problems with my kidneys in a while. I'm so very happy. Knock on wood, man. Um... You know, I try to be polite when driving, and if somebody's, you know, walking, going to walk in front of me, I'm like, yeah, go right ahead. And then they look at me like, well, I have the right of way. I'm like, I know, but you stopped. Okay, I will be back. My sister should be happy with me. I got her five containers of her favorite oatmeal. She brings it to work with her to eat. Um, I should have got oatmeal. I, I like the package, you know. Cut up a little bit of banana, throw it in. But I wanted to get back to my neck. Because I forget, you know, things <laughs> as I'm talking. Um, the nurse practitioner, you know, she told me, yeah, you got a mask in your neck. I'm like, oh, okay, thanks. And then I went and talked to my cardiologist. I had already scheduled the appointment like a year ago. And, um... Uh, 
he, you know, he checked me out, checked my heart and all this kind of stuff. And um, he goes, so what's been going on? <laughs> I had this thing on my face. I was still bruised up. And uh, he goes, it looks like you got into a fight. I'm like, yeah, with the sidewalk. You should see it. I bloodied it, man. But uh, I told him about my neck. And he's like, hold on. And he looks in my file and he sees it. And he's like, oh, yeah. They found that originally. I fell in 2019 when I first started my job. <laughs> I was on my way to, on my last day of oh, um, what's it called probation I fell on the way to work and uh, I was out for like three days it, it, it turned in I didn't go back until the following Monday my um, back was totally messed up from it but they had found it then because they did a scan then, but nobody told me. And I was like, and he goes, yeah, they found it back in 2019. I was like, no one told me. And he looked at me and he's like, well, we got it now. You're gonna go get this checked out. And I'm like, that's a whole freaking year. So, over here. Uh, so, we don't know if it's been growing or if it stopped or we don't even know what it is. So, we're going to find out. It is a beautiful day though, I got to tell you. It's 73. Jacket weather. Um. Uh, Sweetie and Sassy were very upset with me when I came up early to get them out. And they were both sleeping on the back of the couch. And I'm like, come on, let's go. And, you know, Sassy's hard of hearing. But Sweetie hears fine and she looks at me, you know, cocks her head up at me and says, No, you are like two hours early. So, I took a shower and uh, did my skincare and I came back up, checked the mail and finally they said, okay, yeah, we'll go out. So, I'm hoping I got potties. I wasn't really looking, I was tying my shoes. I don't have road rage. <laughs> but it's very nice and windy. You can actually see the pollen in the air. You can see stuff flying around. We're actually going towards my old neighborhood. This hospital where I'm going, well, the building next to it, I was a candy striper at when I was a kid and I took the bus out for the first time you know for my initial interview because yes they interviewed me for that I don't know if they still do I don't even know if they still have candy stripers but um, I took the bus and I, I it was only like a five minute ride and I was like I could walk this and back then I had a card because we were broke that I only had to pay a quarter <laughs> for the bus. 
and uh, I, I thought if I save a quarter a day, I'd have a dollar twenty-five at the end of the week. So after my interview, and they said, "Yeah, come on up," I walked. It took me an hour. <laughs> I got there and I was just drenched. It was the middle of the summer. It was bad. It was so bad. Oh, the police. Oh. Okay, right now we're passing my old street. So let's see how long it takes me to get to the hospital. Because it took a while. I tell you. They have really changed my old neighborhood. It's like a bunch of... Okay, I, I please don't mean I'm saying this derogatory yuppies came in and bought the houses and rehabbed them and they're really nice the ones they've done that too you know I have friends right up here or I used to have friends that lived in this house up here and their parents died. It was a mother, father, and a brother, sister. And the kids, when the parents passed, the parents passed in the car accident, uh, were of age. I think they were like 20 and 18, something like that. They inherited the house. And the house was paid off. And every year, they all they had to do was pay the taxes. And they didn't. So they lost the house. I would smack somebody so hard. You know? wait until this uh, little scan thing is over where I can say guess what? It was nothing. It's just a cyst. Ooh, if it's a cyst, I'm gonna get them to uh, film it for me and I'll post it. Let me know if you guys want to see it. taking the same route I took when I uh, was a candy striper. And by the way, I had to climb a hill to get there. <laughs> I really do love this area. It's right across from the park, Forest Park. If you've ever been to St. Louis, uh, we have a huge park called Forest. Um, uh, I don't know how big it is, but um, there's the Muni Opera inside it. Um, there's the Art Museum. There's Art Hill, which is at the top. Okay. The art museum is at the top of Art Hill. And in the wintertime, uh, you slide down it when there's snow. I didn't do it this year. I don't think I'm ever going to do it again. I think I'll probably just hurt myself. But uh, when I was a kid, my mom's boyfriend said, Hey, you guys want to go sleigh riding? And we were like, 
Yeah. And he goes, okay, come on, we're going to go to the park. And I was like, wow, he's going to drive us to the park? There's a park near our old school. What was the name of that park? Franz. And um, we would go up there and slay. There was two hills. You know, you slide down the hill, then you have to get up and walk a couple minutes or walk a couple of feet and then slide down the rest of the hill. And I was like, well, you're gonna drive us? He took us to Art Hill. And uh, I had never been to it. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, wow, wow. And uh, there's a pond at the bottom of the hill. And, you know, it, it's so far away, there's no chance of sliding into the pond. Unless, of course, you get on a ice spot, which I did, and I slid straight into the, okay, we're at the entrance to where I used to go into work. So that's how long it, it takes. But I slid straight into the pond, which thankfully was frozen. But I'm I'm there, you know, and I I grab this saucer that I'm I'm uh, I slid down the hill on, and uh, I go to stand up, and my mom's boyfriend yells, "Don't!" stand up <laughs> and I, I stopped and I was like oh, oh, okay and uh, he goes just crawl and I'm like okay and as I'm doing it I'm hearing the ice crack apparently I was a chubby little girl <laughs> so yeah Okay, gotta get a ticket. Alright. I'm at the parking area. You can tell how thrilled I am. I do like this parking area, by the way. Um, it's pretty darn big. And there's only one way in. You know, nobody can just walk, jump a fence and be in here and bypass the uh, entry. Alright. I'm going to stop filming. I'm going to go in. And uh, we'll see how this goes. Alright. Have a good day. so pleased um they said I should know what's going on sometime between now well today and tomorrow um they shot some stuff into my arm so first they took a picture of my neck or an ultrasound of my neck and then they shot me full of some dye which I'm telling you irritated my tummy she, uh, and she said it's gonna make you feel like you have to pee hey have a good day It'll make you feel like you have to pee. 
and uh, it didn't really make me feel like I had pee. It made me feel like I had put something irritating down there. But it did it throughout my freaking body. That reminds me, I need water. She said, drink a lot of water. I'm like, yeah, okay, fine. They have really screwed this place up. Just saying. You can tell when people do things that irritate me. There's a drop-off area about two car spots in front of the guy who's in front of me. And uh, he's dropping off the person now. When we're in line to get our butts out. Come on! Sorry. Now they're talking. Okay, I'm back. So, what am I going to do now? I got... Two packages in the mail. Before I left. And I picked one up from the post office. Um... And I'm supposed to get another one today. I'm a little disappointed in the size of my package. Like, this person does not know how to drive. Okay. Uh, because I've seen people get it and it's a big box. I got a small box. I gotta stop expecting too much. Alright, I really don't have anything to say except... Yay, it's over, and hopefully I'm going to pop on after I stop filming today and say, look, they called me, and I'm fine. It was nothing. And I'm hoping. All right. Uh, so thanks for coming with me to the doctor. Oh, they changed this place. You can see a whole... This all used to be... Um... Storefronts. And now they're little townhouses. The, the, there's a Chinese Express over here. That used to be a really cute little candy shop. Yeah. It was one of my favorites. Every day walking home. I'd be like, hmm. What am I going to pick up? Okay. I'm going to get off here. You guys. Have a good day, and I will see you in the next video. Uh, please like, subscribe, uh, ring the bell, all that kind of stuff. Okay, bye-bye. Hey, how are you? Okay, so it's the day after, and I just got a phone call from my doctor. Hold on, I'm thirsty. And, um, I talked to one of the nurses and she's like, your thyroid has a nodule that's questionable. We sent this information to your doctor, my other doctor, my primary care. Um, uh, w 
we think you should go to an ENT, which is ear, nose, and throat. And, uh, of course, and, oh, by the way, yesterday my sister found out. I had, uh, another one of those little things on my neck that, um, show where they were going to scan. <laughs> and she's like, what's on your neck? I'm like... You know, you never notice anything on me, and you notice that. So I had to tell her I went and had my mask scanned. And, um, uh, so we still don't know what it is. I mean, well, I know it's my thyroid, and, it, and it's enlarged. Um, but, you know. That's all I know. <laughs> I also, and getting off that subject, I've been in touch with the Dot Box. Their customer service sucks. They're like, we're not a retailer, so we don't take returns. And I and I was, and I also said I wanted a refund. And they're like, you canceled, so we're not going to help you. We hope you find a box. All right. And I told them, your customer service sucks. Just saying. You ripped me off. Um, I would not suggest you go with the dot box. That's just my opinion. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I just downloaded it today. It's up. Don't buy it. All right. You guys, I have a box to film. One that I'm pretty sure is going to be good. So, I will see you in the next video. Take care.